is a show consumer. Problem is a direction consumer. Any man that has a problem is not being controlled by himself. Some certain things begin to control you. You are married after one year. There is no issue. Something will begin to control your brain. Your mother-in-law words will begin to hurt you. Your mother-in-law will say, my picking no married man. Those things will begin to hurt you. You are no longer yourself. If you are doing business, your mates are doing. They are paying her strength. You are looking for her strength. At a time like this, you are no longer yourself. Why? Because of problem. I met a woman. He said to me, I ate lizard and shit because I am looking for a baby. Because of problem. Because of problem. Many people are standing on the road. Because of problem. Many people are begging. Because of problem. Many people are not their self. Bro. You know good old? If you see Lavamo, if there is any time anybody can remember you, is when he's going through a lot. Anything you say to that person at that time, remain in the person's head. I've seen so many men who got money, they divorced their wife. Why? Because when they never had money, the woman was making mockery of them. Now they hear what and they tell you so. So this one, when I never had money, he, she never respected me. She wants to respect me because I have money. Be careful of the words you use for people who are going through hard time. They are very important. They hear me so? Important too. In fact, your miracle is tied to somebody's problem. Your miracle is tied to people's problem. And your cause is tied with people's problem. The Bible says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. You see, I'm, when you see somebody where you need mercy, you don't show mercy. You are on your own attracting cause because the opposite of mercy is cause or contamination. So be careful how you condemn and mock people who are in problem. Only I've been there. I've seen 99. I'm not afraid of 100. Be careful how you mock people. Don't ever mock people when you see them with problem. It's not a good thing. Jesus said, I'm going to die. Yes, I know. I'm going to be betrayed. Yes, I know. And they asked him, who will betray you? He said, I don't know. He said, I don't know. But do you know that Jesus still have to die no matter what happened? Are you aware? Oh my God. Jesus still have to die. That matter has not been settled. Let me explain to you. If Judah is carrot, kill Jesus. It was divine plan by God. Oh, and I don't understand. If Judah is carrot, kill Jesus. It was a divine plan by God. As I'm talking to you now, I'm not even sure Judah is carrot is in her fire because he fulfilled the word of God. And he missed him. I say I'm not sure. I'm not saying he's dear or he's not dear. But what I'm saying now, he fulfilled the word of God. If Judah Iscariot could have not betrayed Jesus, or would have not betrayed, don't mind my English, you know I didn't go to school, would have not betrayed Jesus, Judah Iscariot will not fulfill the word of God, and Jesus will not fulfill why God brought him to this earth to come and die. The reason why God brought Judas into Jesus' camp was for Judas to fulfill the word of God in the life of Jesus. 